Hello everyone, Ultra 7 here, and we are beginning our journey into Dishonored 2. Ah, there we are. So, this is my first playthrough of Dishonored 2, so this should be interesting for me. And, this is a tutorial. Do I really, you know what? Let's just see what the tutorial is all about, shall we? Dunwall, 1837-1852 As Emily Caldwin, ruler of the Empire of the Isles, you have numerous enemies. Your father is Lord Corvo Atano, infamous royal protector and spy master. In the years since you took the throne, Corvo has spent many hours training you in the arts of stealth and combat. Ooh, sneaking and listening. Here we go. I remember training with my father in the years after the Rat Plague. Someday, he said, our enemies will come for you. Wise words. Meet up with your father. Alright. What was over there? The sounds and smells of Dunwall never change much. This is my city. What training regimen does Father have in store for me today? All right, Majesty. Let's see what you can do. Spend every day running and jumping. Ugh. Now let's see how quick my feet are. All right. Come to me. Uh oh. Ah. Miss that Reach one. The edge with the right jump. Well, you've learned well. Thanks. Let's see how quiet you are, young lady. Ooh, stealthy time. Press. Four to toggle stealth mode, crouching down and walking slightly. Your visibility in stealth mode is greatly reduced. Stay behind cover and out of sight to avoid being detected. Enemies are slower to detect you in stealth mode, especially when you are farther away from them. Above them or at the edge of their peripheral vision. In shadow, though this matters more at a distance, stealth mode enables you to take cover under desks and tables. To lure enemies away, distract them by throwing an object such as a bottle or setting an alarm on a clock. Ooh. Sneak up on me, if you can. Sneak up Father's on always on about the value of quiet feet. Enemies begin to detect you and awareness meters displayed overhead, gradually filling up. A full meter, a full white meter means the enemy will search for you. A full red meter means you have been detected. Uh -oh. Quietly and apply a choke hold. I've got to sneak to get through this. Alright, alright. So he saw me. I almost had it too. We 
don't see me. Just pretending. No, again, without letting me see you. All right, all right. Damn, made too much noise. Too much noise. Person who gets to wake up and go home. Gotcha. Okay. How was that? That's my girl. Let's see how quiet you are, young lady. Given time, an enemy will notice you. Even if you're at the edge of their peripheral vision. Didn't see anything at all. In the words of Corvo Atano, hidden like a secret, quiet as the sunset. Nice. Oh, now what? Crossbow training. Nice. Remember, a pistol will wake up everyone in the building. Your crossbow is quiet. Okay. How do I shoot such a small? Oh, right click. for me, rat. Not anymore. Any other targets? Ah! Oops. from a longer work of fiction, Spirit of the Deep. Spirit of the Deep, Siren of the Dreams, I walked for hours along the coast, leaving Dunwall behind me until the lament of the waves drowned all other feeling. I wept, knowing you would not come to me, my love. You rule my dreams, where I behold with senses I do not possess in the walking, waking life the dark splendor of your home in the deep. There, the ocean rests on your back like a sleeping child on his father's shoulders. In these sleepless nights of despair, you appear to me not as the mighty Leviathan, but as a young man with eyes as black as the void. Oh. A little hint hint at the outsider, maybe? Oh, I picked up my shot. Nice. I can retrieve them. Hmm, I do like that. Alright, through the door here. Time for some more weapons and combat training. Alright. Let's beat each other up, shall we? Well, if you insist. Yes. You hit hard. That's my daughter. When someone swings a sword at you, block. Okay. Like how? Control? I'm remapping that! Good. Well done. Very good. You've got a natural instinct for fighting. Oh, thanks. Learn from if the you best. time your block right, you'll throw an enemy off balance. Okay. Block with your blade. 
quick. Ah! Smart move. There it is. You can choke an enemy out, even in combat. Really? Grab the ah. control. Finally, come. You're ready to fight. Oh, thanks, Pops. Oh, that was fun. All right, uh, I'm gonna make a couple adjustments to controls. Just I don't, I don't like the control is the block button, and then we'll jump into this. So I'll be right back with you, everybody. All right, everyone, let's jump right in, shall we? Game. Campaign slot numero uno. Uh, well, custom. Customize your death with the normal It's interesting. I don't think I'm. No. Enjoy the scenery and narrative explorer at a leisurely pace. Enemies of the reception. Okay, I'm not going to go easy. That would be a little too easy. But we're going to do medium. First playthrough of the game. Maybe I'll do another playthrough at some point on my own at harder difficulty. But for now, let's just have some fun, shall we? Do you want to start the tutorial? No, I just did the tutorial, thanks. A long day in Dunwall. Today marks the anniversary of the death of Empress Jessamine Caldwin, assassinated 15 years ago. Visitors from across the Empire of the Isles have journey journeyed to Dunwall Tower for the occasion. Oh. Why do we celebrate the anniversary of an assassination? Fifteen years ago, in the middle of a plague that nearly destroyed Dunwall, a paid killer assaulted the palace where I was born and stabbed my mother in the heart. In the aftermath, the men who sent the assassin tried to use me as a pawn in a game of power. They would have succeeded, but my father, Corvo Atano, hunted them down and cut their conspiracy to pieces. All these years later, am I the ruler my mother wanted me to be? Now, we face a new crisis. A monster the papers are calling the Crown Killer has been picking off my enemies and dressing it up like my father and I are responsible. I don't know whether to get on a ship and sail to the opposite side of the world, or to have everyone around me executed. It's a bit harsh. Ooh, lovely. Watch your step, Majesty. Okay. I'm not looking forward to all the ceremony today. Your signet ring. There, you're ready. Thank, Thank you, you, Alexei. Open the doors. All hail Her Imperial Majesty, Emily Caldwin. Loyal subjects, we're going through a difficult time, but today we honor my mother, the late Jessamine Caldwin. May her memory survive through the ages. Emily. You look tired, Father. Every year, I think the anniversary of Jessamine's death will be easier, but it never is. I wish Mother was still the Empress. I don't think I'm very good at this. You're still learning. Don't worry about the rabble-rousers, and we'll catch the Crown Killer, eventually. People are saying it's you. That these assassinations are a misguided effort to protect me. No. Someone's trying to make us look guilty by targeting your enemies. I wish I could just run away from all this. Sometimes you do. You think I don't know about your nights out on the rooftops? Courage. The ceremony will be over soon. 
Royal Protector and Father. I should have passed a law against that combination of titles years ago. Your Majesty, before we begin the day's observances, we have an unexpected visitor, the Duke of Serkonos. Ramsey says okay. the Duke is bringing special gifts. That's intriguing. His Grace Luca Abel, Duke of Serkonos! Mechanical soldiers? Amazing. What is this, Ramsey? I didn't authorize those things. Your Imperial Majesty and Royal Protector Corvo Atano, a native of our homeland. Sarconis offers condolences on this sorrowful day and gifts to remind you of our nation, the rising star on the southern horizon. We thank you, Your Grace. Save your thanks, for now I give you the greatest gift of all, family. I present the lost sister of Jessamine Caldwin, your rightful Empress. Delilah Caldwin. Impossible. My mother had a sister? My dearest niece, hello. It's not true. My father was Emperor Yuhorn Jacob Caldwin, and Jessamine was my younger sister. At the time of her death, I wasn't ready to make myself known to you, and I was forced Aww. to leave Dunwall. But now I'm home. If you really are my mother's sister, you're welcome to stay as long as you like. Little Sparrow, blackened by bad memories, I'm here to relieve you of your crown. My father's promise, whispered in secret so many years ago, is now fulfilled. Watch your tongue. Emily Caldwin is the daughter of Empress Jessamine Caldwin. Royal Protector, how naive to think you could get away with these murders. Living in my palace has protected you, but that's over. Hear me, all of you. Your rightful Empress has returned. All hail the Empress Delilah. First of her name. Arrest Emily Caldwin and her father for the Crown Killer murder. Uh, I what? Don't think so. What are you doing? You traitor's master. This is where you can choose. Play as Elemi Caldwin, ruler of the Empire of Isles, trained in stealth and combat by her father, Corvo Otano. Or, play as Corvo Otano, legendary royal protector to the Empress and figure of infamy from the time of the Rat Plague. No. Or play as Emily for this per first plague through. Play as Emily? Yes. Cast you in cold marble! Damn you, bitch! No! Ow! Sweet girl, over time you'll come to love me. Perhaps someday you'll see me as the mother you lost. Never. But until then, you'll be kept out of trouble. I'll lock Lady Emily in her chambers, then I'll bring her to cold <gasps> prison. Ow! Trial. My father lost it all when I was a boy, so now I wear this uniform, and I send 20-year-olds out to patrol the Rose Gardens instead of drinking with the men from the shooting club. Ow. Captain Ramsey, I heard shouting. Lady Emily, what Look happened? Out. No! It'll be all, Captain Mayhew. No! That's the Royal Protector's fancy weapon. What kind of sword folds in half? 